And now, your Precision 18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. A gloomy, foggy day today with visibility in some spots lower than a mile at times. A dense fog advisory still in effect for the majority of the viewing area until 10 p.m. Eastern time this evening. And even with visibilities on the rise, we're still seeing many of the view, much of the viewing area under about two miles. That's what it is in Lafayette right now, about a mile and a half in Williamsport. Up to a mile uh, in Remington at this point, but the further east, the further south you go, it does look like visibility is getting a little bit better, and we're actually seeing some of that rainfall move back into the viewing area now as well. 44 degrees, your high temperature so far today, and that's where we find ourselves currently. Winds are from the east, 8 miles per hour. Those easterly winds will shift back and forth between the east and the southeast, and it's going to gradually drive those temperatures higher, and we've seen, be, been seeing those temperatures on the rise throughout much of the day. Starting off this morning around 32 degrees, that was our low temperature for the day. We're up to 48 degrees in Crawfordsville, 37, however, still in Winnemac here in Lafayette, smack dab in the middle of it all, 44 degrees. And the reason we're seeing this rainfall is as a warm front lifts northward across the region. It's generating some scattered showers throughout the viewing area now, and we'll see on and off rain chances throughout the remainder of the evening into early tomorrow morning. And you can see a round of low pressure still spinning a pretty nice uh, developed rotation there with that low pressure system spinning northeastward, expected to eventually spin across parts of northern Illinois and Indiana past our viewing area and bring an end to the rain chances early tomorrow morning. So that's the good news. And the bad news is that once the round of low pressure pushes to our northeast and the cold front comes through, the mild temperatures that we're seeing right now will be no more. We'll see temperatures on a decline gradually throughout the day tomorrow. As far as temperatures go the rest of this evening, we'll see them on a rise actually. Again, 46 degrees by 7 p.m. up to 49 by midnight. And as we get towards about 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning, We'll actually see our high temperature for tomorrow, 53 degrees. That'll be your high tomorrow morning, and then that cold front passes through, and then temperatures begin to fall. We'll also see the rain chances come to an end as well, maybe a couple stray showers after about 9 a.m. or so. Once we get past that point to around your lunch hour, we actually look at dry conditions throughout the remainder of the day. A lot of cloud cover still sticking around, and temperatures again on the decline. Pay no attention to the isolated rain or snow chances will stay dry tomorrow evening. But those temperatures will cool off about 20 degrees, falling back down to around 33 degrees Tuesday night and early Wednesday. A high temperature of 44 on Wednesday, and really, Wednesday is the gem of the week because each and every other day throughout the extended forecast, there's at least a slim chance for isolated rainfall. We'll see rain chances return Thursday evening, lingering into Friday. Saturday, maybe a shower or two, but look at that high temperature, 57 degrees by Saturday afternoon. I love the sound of that in the yeah, wintertime. Exactly. <laughs> I wish that happened every year. Yeah. All right.